So this is a video about Big Yellow Trailer. Actually it's not. It's nothing to do with the Big Yellow Trailer. It is about where the Big Yellow Trailer is stored over winter. So Big Yellow Trailer I got from Farmer P, you might remember that, uh, a few years back. Uh, it's been really useful for us actually and I'm going to go up and use that for muck in a minute. Uh, so uh, that'll be another video but uh, this is about the shed the Big Yellow Trailer is stored in. Ooh, look at that bigger shed, big shed, big old shed. So, big shed, built in the probably 1960s. Dutch barn they called them, don't they? I think that's what they call them. Ooh, pigeon. Sorry, I thought we got the what I'm here to talk about in the big shed. So, big shed. So, Dad built this shed in the 1960s late 60s it was a different time then my dad would be feeding hay out to the cattle outside over winter because he didn't have any sheds really around the farm to keep all the cattle in over winter and he didn't have that many cattle but so what he would do is he'd fill this shed um full of hay and then over winter we'd come down here every day hard to believe it and every day we'd come down and we'd put a few bales out in the field and because there weren't that many cattle it didn't really cause much damage this was young cattle I'm talking about not dairy herd um, but it was a chore it was a real chore I just about remember it we'd come down and we'd end up you know where it come rain or shine or snow or whatever we'd have to come down every morning of course I was only a young lad so I was only around on the weekends but it just seemed to bind to come down um, hence the need for storage well those those days have gone now the cattle are all in the shed up the farm and this is kind of a bit of a bit of in the wrong place if it was up by the farm it'd be a lot more useful than it is down here so what i tend to do is store the uh, norton here over winter and there's a few bits of old machinery over there which i i kind of actually i think i need to bring the topper down here um but the other thing the shed has proved really useful and i'm going to show you this in a minute is the the barn owl boxes so these are the barn owl boxes me and my dad built. The Hawk and Owl Trust come and check them every year and they're there permanently. So, um, a bit of history of the barn owl really. There are no, or were no barn owls on this farm my entire youth. I don't remember ever seeing a barn owl until, a, until probably early 2000s i saw one in a field and i couldn't believe it and i saw my i told my dad and he said no you didn't you saw but you probably saw a seagull he didn't believe me anyway since then the barn owls have been back and we very rarely see them they're very shy that's why when i jump when that bird flew out because the pigeon flew out but the indicators of a barn owl are here and there's a couple of indicators so you can see the muck splatters on this side here just just an indicator there and probably more so on this side there's one obviously perching there most days can you see the the poo obviously got a bit of a runny but I must sit on the end there um, but what really really shows there here are these things these things here and you can see a lot of them on the floor these are the barn owl pellets. Look at that. They're all over the floor. Right. So barn owl pellets aren't actually the poo. They are actually the what they've eaten. Let me just put that down there. They're actually what they've eaten, but they, they don't poo it out, they regurgitate. So barn owls eat lots of little small voles and mice and in here are the remains of those small voles and mice. So that pellet, can you see the greyness? That is actually the, um, the fur of these little bar moles and mice. Now I'm going to open it up and you can start seeing, so like a little leg bone there, which is, can you start seeing? I'm going to try and find you a skull. I think I can see one now. Let me see now. I haven't got my glasses on, it's hard. There is, there's a bit of a skull. It's just really hard because I can't, I haven't got, I need my glasses. I realise what a short-sighted wombat I am. 
There's lots of little bones here. Can you? You know, sometimes they pop open and you're straight onto a skull. What I'm finding here is more bone than anything. Let me just see. There we go. There's a skull. Can you see these little bits? This isn't a very good one. Where's this? Ah, there you go. There's a better. There's a better skull there, look. Can you see that? Right, I'm going to lay it out on a bit of wood in a minute. Let me just, let me just turn the camera around. There is the skull there. These are little leg bones. Can you see that? And there's more leg bones there. Bits of bone. Let me just... I think there might be another bit of skull there, look. Let me just see if I can find a bigger one that... Um, let's just find... Let's find another one. That's a quite a bulgy one, isn't it? Imagine they're regurgitating that. So you, you've got to bring this up. This is equivalent of you going to KFC, eating the entire piece of KFC whole, and then going, right, I'm not going to want to digest those bones. And bring up the bones wrapped in the, the fur. Oh, my God, look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Bloody hell. The size of that. That's a mouse skull. That's a massive one. I'm going to put that down. We'll have a closer look. Jesus, this is... I've never found one as big as that. Oh my God. Right, let me just put the fur down next to that and I'm going to turn the camera on it. So, I didn't really realise at the time, this one is slightly different colour. It's, these are sort of blacky. And this one here is a browny colour. It's a slightly different... Look at that. That's massive. Look, there's a the back of its head. Jesus. That's, a, that's something pretty big, isn't it? The bones are in there. That's a, someone who knows. Uh, that's all the fur. Look, look at the, it's the bones there. Is that a jawbone there? There's a jawbone there. Look. Look at that. That's the jawbone that goes underneath there. It's like a kit. This this is this is a mouse jigsaw. It's a mouse jigsaw. Let me do one more. Okay, I'm going to do one more. I always. <laughs> To be honest, I do, I, I do a few farm walks occasionally for groups and I always end up opening these out. These are always fascinating. You've got to remember to wash your hands if you're having a bit of cake afterwards. Uh, right. Oh, look, look. Can you see that? There's another massive skull. Look at that. Look at that. Right. I'm going to just put this out. Look. Jeez. Let me just put that one out. That's so. So you can see the difference in colour, can't you? Quite clearly, that's a dark black, and that's a brown. There's the skull of that one. There's the skull of the other one. Oh, I don't want. I'm losing my skulls. Look at that. And there was a little tiny. Look, these are the ones. That's the one I did earlier. There's a smaller, smaller skull there. Look. Can you see that? So big, really big skull there. Big one there, little tiny one there, and then this sort of browny chaos of of that with the bones. But there's a quite a big bone there. What's that off of? And these are ribs. This browny one. What is that from? What What's he eating there? What is that one? It's a browny colour, isn't it? Oh, browny. You can feel that. It still feels like fur. And then back to this one where you've got the jaw bones here. So, and look, you can see the little, lots of little bones. Lots of little bones. Can you see that? Wow. So, there's your conclusive proof that the barn owls are here. Right. So, I, they're here, and they have actually had fledglings a while ago. But um, fairly recently, the Hawk and Owl Trust came down here, and they... Um, sent me some footage of some barn owl fledglings that were up in that box 
Now I'm showing this, this video now, I've saved this video until I'm confident they've fledged and gone because I didn't really want to put this on the internet and then some horrible man might, or woman, whatever person, might come in and try and take them away. So they've actually fledged now, I know that. But this is the footage I was sent and I'd like to share this with you now. Thanks to the Hawk and Owl Trust who put the cameras up. You can see, well we'll talk about it once, once you've seen it, I'm going back up. Um, you can see where they put their, they put their, uh, ooh, they put their, their camera up there on a tripod and uh, not a tripod, like a, a pole thing. And they just managed to film, I think they said there was three in there, uh, definitely two. So have a look at this. I've forgotten what it was on the film. Um, have a look at this and then we'll have a little chat about that because that's just the result, right? I'm heading back up. We'll have a chat when we're back up there, all right? And you've watched this. Crack on. Ooh. Let's go. So there you go, those are the very brief clips of the barn owl chicks in the uh, box and you saw there the barn owl fly out when they uh, put the pole up. I mean the interesting thing about that is that you can see those chicks, they're just changing from the very, when they're born they're very white and fluffy, they're covered in sort of down almost and you can see the transition there on the on the video of, of the down to their sort of full feathers. Um, so that, that was a lovely thing to see um, and I have seen them out in the shed but I haven't been down there with a the camera to get that. Um, anyway, uh, the other thing they were lucky was the other box had a bit of um, some of the droppings in and also I think it was a, either a dove or a pigeon. You know, have a look, this is what the other box had in it, not very much. There we go. So anyway, it just shows how wonderful it is, you know, the wildlife on this farm. And you know, all these climate change people banging on about livestock farming being bad for the environment. It just shows if you look after your farm, the wildlife will come and we're livestock and we're supposed to be the bad guys. And that's just a little rubbish, isn't it? We know it is, you know it is. Anyway, crack on. <laughs> 